Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wellness Wednesday. Um, if you can hear my birds, if you can hear something, it's my birds in the background. Uh, they're they're sharing in the excitement today. So I'm here with my good friend Ellen Weiss. Um, you may recognize us. We've been doing Wellness Wednesdays for a couple of weeks now, and we're really excited to bring really simple wellness tips so that you up level, you elevate your physical health, your mental, your emotional health, and you just enjoy so much more, right? You, and you enjoy life so much more. So today we're going to chat about um, the importance of cleaning out clutter, cleansing your environment, and also cleansing your body. Ellen's going to give us some really awesome tips on that. So, um, so I'm just going to start real quick, and then I'm going to hand it over to Ellen. She's going to chat about the importance of cleaning up our physical bodies, especially as we're moving in to spring, right? We have a whole new season now. This kicks off, you know, this, this equinox kicked us into this time of renewal, right? This time when the birds start getting more active, right? You can hear my birds, but also the birds outside, right? They start to come around, the flowers start to bloom, depending on where you are in the world, right? That may have already happened for you. And um, it's really important for us to be very aware on how we're getting ready for this new season and how we can really optimize this change in season so that we can feel so much better. So I'm going to chat a little bit about physical clutter. Now, I don't know if you're aware of this, but clutter, physical clutter is very much attached to emotional challenges, mental and emotional, you know, challenges and issues and all these, these, um, like having an environment that's not orderly can create a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety. I have a family member who, um, lives in a, in a million dollar house, beautiful house, 10 acre property, but because of some mental challenges and emotional challenges, you can't walk in their ba in their like downstairs level. Like it's like the basement, but it's really not. It's like the, like a whole floor of their house, two bedrooms, you know, a big living room. You can't walk down there. There's a tiny little path of, of stuff, but it's boxes upon boxes and, and stuff everywhere. And it's so sad. It's so sad, but there is this strong connection between, you know, accumulating a lot of excess stuff and, um, and experiencing high levels of stress or anxiety or different kinds of emotional challenges. So when your, your environment is orderly, right? When you take a few moments out of your day to make sure your desk is, is organized and neat and tidy and things are where they belong. So you can find them e more easily. Right. And isn't it always amazing when you know exactly where something is, you go there it's there and you save so much time, right? That's a life lesson that I've had to learn the hard way many times, but, um, but I'm pretty good now about putting stuff back where they belong, but having a, a space that's clean around you physically can do so much for our mental and emotional well-being. And my daughter will, will recognize that too. She's very, very, very neat and tidy about her bedroom, which is awesome. <laughs> Um, but when she starts to feel stressed, she spends an hour after school going through old clothes. You know, she'll have her donation bag. She'll have her garbage can there. She'll get the vacuum out. She'll, you know, wipe things down, clean her mirrors, make her bed super nice and clean. You know, she knows at, at 10 years old, you know, she was doing this probably at, even at like eight years old, she was doing this um, because when her room is clean, she feels the difference. Um, my other child, you know, not so much yet at this point, but it's all good, right? It's all good. So Ellen, what are some, and oh, at the end of this video, we're going to give you two action items, two things that you can do today. That's going to really support you in this shifting of seasons so that you, you can, um, kind of ride into this new season of spring and summer feeling a little bit better. Okay. That's our goal for you. So Ellen, thank you so much for being with me today and for joining us. What are some things 
that we can do to support our physical health as we're shifting in to this new season? Well, we often hear the term spring cleaning, and I think spring cleaning can be for your environment, like Don was just talking about, your, your space, your home, your work environment, but you can also do spring cleaning for your body. And, um, you know, right now it's spring, just like you said, we're getting, it's a different season, different vegetables are in season. And a lot of times you also hear the term detox. And you can go into any grocery store, health food store, and see jars and jars of supplements for detox and different recipes for detox. But I really think the easiest thing that you can do to do a spring cleaning of your body is to really increase the number of vegetables that you're having. Mm. Even if you could take one day and eat vegetables for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, snacks in between. It is so good for your body. It can really kind of clean out your gut. And there's a lot of research out there of the connection between your gut and your brain. So you will feel better. You'll have more energy. You'll sleep better. You know, even just taking one day or even one meal and just really increasing those vegetables. You know, we've all also heard the term meatless Monday. Start putting this into your regular schedule and just enjoy the fresh vegetables. Go visit a farmer's market with your friends this weekend, with your family, and, you know, talk to the people that grow the vegetables. Try something new and see what you like. So that's my advice oh, for I love uh, easily doing some spring cleaning right in your own body. Oh, I love that, Ellen. And it is a, so much fun to go to farmer's markets and just look around. Um, my kids and I love going. We have one that's not too far away from our house and we go there and we learn so much about like, I'm surprised by how many vegetables I didn't even know existed, right? Then you can yeah. get some new things and you can find some recipes and try some new things out. And you're adding more variety to your diet as well. Keeping it more exciting, right? More fun. Fun and easy. That's what it's all about. Yes. Yes. Simplify it, right? When we yes. make things too complex, mm -hmm. we're adding so much more unnecessary stress to our life. Mm -hmm. And if you're like most people, right? You're, there's already a lot of stress, right? Just collectively that um, we don't need to be adding more to our plates. No. So yeah, we want to add in the good and, and crowd out the bad. So adding in more vegetables, you will naturally kind of crowd out the junk food that we don't want to be eating. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ellen. So we have two, um, two action items for you today. The first thing, um, for me, I'm going to share something that you can do in um, regards to cleaning up your physical space. And I encourage you for two minutes today, just two minutes, it doesn't have to be long. Look at your desk area, right? Look at your desk area, the area in your house where you spend a lot of time, right? Maybe if you move your computer, you know, to a different room, like the kitchen table or whatever, look at that area and just notice what it's like, right? Do a little inventory. And if it's not, something that you're excited to look at, like if it's not feeling energizing and nourishing for you, clean it up, right? Just clean it up. Um, every time I do this, I notice immediately how much better I feel. Mm -hmm. So, um, so just check that out, right? Look at your space around you, throw away, you know, put books. I feel like I have a, my book collection on my desk is c continuously growing day by day. So I'm going to put some of those books back on my shelf clean up some papers, you know, that are, that are loose around, you know, get kind of do an inventory of all the post-its here. Um, and you know, and I'll notice immediately the shift. Mm -hmm. Ellen, how about you? What is one action item that they can take away today to, uh, to clean up their physical space, their body, their body. So what I would suggest is research some recipes that are vegetarian, see what you like, go to the grocery store, 
walk around that produce area and try something new. Fill up your cart with some healthy vegetables. Go to the farmer's market this weekend and start doing Meatless Monday and see what you can make that you'll enjoy. Try something new, experiment, have fun with it and keep it simple. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us for another Wellness Wednesday tip. We will see you next week. Bye-bye.